guys so i am frantically trying to get ready i'm about to leave the house um this is a terrible angle but it's all that i have so i'm gonna throw on my um blazer i absolutely i'm so excited to wear this outfit like look at this <gasps> it's tweed and it matches the dress okay i need to put some earrings on um I'm going to put these little pearl earrings on. And don't mind my nails. I literally am going to get it done, like, today. Um, the lighting is so bad. But, um, yeah, that's my outfit. And I think I'm going to put on my shoes. so I don't miss my train and I want to get a Starbucks before I get on the train so these shoes from J. Crew I've literally had for like a gajillion years like maybe seven or six years I'm gonna wear these um so yeah let me get going I'm gonna pack this bag my vintage Chanel um I'm gonna take this Tom Ford lipstick and my Victoria Beckham lip liner in there. Um, I really want to take this book so I can get some reading done on the train. So let's see if this will fit. I don't think I need sunglasses, do I? Eh, maybe. Put that in there. Starbucks. The line is super long as usual. But, um,. At least it's a beautiful day. I mean, it's almost 50 degrees, so there's that. I, I used to get Starbucks all the time and I had to, um, I had to like cut it down a little bit. So now it's like a treat for me. Now it's like two or three times a month. <laughs> um, when it used to be like a couple times a week. And Starbucks is really expensive. Like it, it's expensive if you get it a lot, which I used to. So I'm not doing that anymore. <laughs> um, but yeah, I'm gonna hop on my train, have my little coffee. That's like my my thing. I love having like a Starbucks while you're on the train. Um, so yeah. Guys, I love this bag. This is like my favorite, favorite handbag ever. <laughs> like if you if you only want one ha handbag in your collection, and you literally don't need any other handbag but the um, the Chanel Classic Fab. <laughs> um, and I would go vintage. This is a vintage one because I hear a lot of issues with like the newer ones in terms of quality, and this one is like gold plated and apparently then they don't do that anymore for the newer ones so or they haven't been doing that for a while um so yeah i put on this little um look how cute this is i think i showed you guys the lucky the lucky scent from christian dior i don't like this as much as the gris dior um that one is my favorite but this one's not bad I have to check out the Dior fragrances a little bit more because they're not, I mean, they're really nice and they're very surprisingly good. I also, I have a sample of this as well, if I can get it out. I'm gonna get these windows tinted because people are, I just, <laughs> that's one thing I've always been uncomfortable with is like people staring. Um, I don't know, I guess I have like, social anxiety or something. But yeah, I have the sample of the bubble bath fragrance. This, this smells good. The only thing with the um, replica fragrances is that they don't last long at all. So I don't, I've never bought one. Um, but this literally smells like you just took a shower, which is really nice because it's super, super fresh. I love fresh fragrances, but um, 
yeah if a perfume doesn't last long on me i'm not gonna buy it because what's the point <laughs> Um, I should do like a what's in my bag actually. I have lip balm from Laneige. I don't know if I should get food and a drink. Him, this is something you get. If I get. Maybe I should try that. I don't know. I have so many lip products in here. This is wild. Like, I need to clear this out. Like, all oh, these are all my lipsticks in here. <clears throat> and I have two lip liners. One from Victoria's Bay. Okay. Let me order this food and then I'll tell you guys some more. Hi, how are you? Good, how are you? I'm good, thanks for asking. What can I get for you? Uh, do you guys have the chestnut praline latte? Absolutely. What size are you looking to do? Can I do a grande of that? Yeah, well, hot with whipped cream is okay? Uh, yes. Okay, anything else? Um, do you have the bacon gouda sandwich? I don't know. I honestly think I just sold my last one, but I will go check for you if you don't mind just giving me a moment. Okay, no problem. All right, thank you. Okay, let's see. Oh, yes, I do have them. I'm sorry. Yes, I'll get you another bacon gouda. No problem. Okay, yeah, just one. Okay, sorry. I'm talking to you and talking to somebody else at the same time. Sorry. <laughs> That's my fault. That's okay. Okay, so Chesapeake Bacon Gouda, I got them for you. Sorry about that. Anything else? That's it. Okay, you are all set. 1120 as usual. Thank you. She's so cute. As I was saying, I have Victoria Beckham and Patrick Ta lip liners. I love this um, Victoria Beckham lip liner. This is my favorite one. Um, should I put some something on my lips? Tom Ford Sable Smoke. This is literally the best. Staring at me. <laughs> this is the best nude lipstick ever. last clips what is my hair doing <laughs> i just dyson hair wrapped it so it's like really fresh um anyway let's see there we go yeah so i just went to the nespresso store and um sephora sorry my hands are really dry I literally hate the winter, like your your lips are dry, your hands are dry, like <sighs> I can't wait for summer, like spring and summer. Um yeah. Got some refill pods for my um Nespresso. I got two things from Sephora because um I needed a new exfoliator and um a lot of exploi exfoliators actually break me out. Um, and I saw this one and the ingredients looked okay. Like 
no crazy ingredients like fragrance or um, perfume or alcohol or things like that. Um, so this is the Dermalogica Daily Microfolia. So it's like their more gentle version of their like famous um, uh, exfoliator that's like in the powder form. Um, and I just got like the travel size because at least I could just try it out and if I hate it then it's just the travel size. But yeah, it's like a powder. Basically just a powder and then you mix it with water and you put it all over your face and just exfoliate that way. So hopefully this is... Um, okay for my skin and then I saw this from the inky list and it has really really good reviews so this is the salicylic acid exfoliating scalp treatment uh, and it wasn't pricey at all and I it has really good reviews like on um, sephora.com so it's like just a treatment you put in like into your scalp before you wash your hair and you leave it on for 10 minutes I think um, yeah, 10 minutes and then wash hair as normal. Use one to two times a week. So yeah, hopefully it says that it helps control oil. Oil and flake control serum. Best for oily, itchy, and flaky scalp. Yeah, I I really need to take a better care of my scalp and exfoliate it, exfoliate it and treat it and things like that. So let's see if that um that helps. And then the Nespresso pods I got are like the usual, and then I'm trying I wanted to try this new one. So I just got the usual. I've already done this, but the usual charo which is like this is like a nice mild biscuit um like a biscuit cereal flavor um and then i got the cocoa truffle um that one's okay it's a little bit more bitter a little bit more intense um another charo like two of those and then i really i'm so excited to try this one this is the paris the world exploration flavor um the paris espresso and the actual pot is so freaking, freaking cute. It's like a black and white pot. I saw someone on YouTube um, that was drinking this and I was like, I need to try that. Um, yeah, look at the pot, it's so cute. Yeah, so I'm gonna have one of those tomorrow morning for sure. Um, 